Hi, I'm Danette Hutchinson with At His Feet Bible Study. Thank you for joining me today. I hope all is going well with you. We are on day four. Now, what I want you to do, if you would join me, just do a few breathing exercises. Here we go. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Woo, that was refreshing. Our day today is day four. Guess what we're talking about? Rest with no regrets. Boy, the days that we live in, oh my goodness. If it's not one thing, it's another. When it rains, it pours. Oh my gosh. Day four. Let this be a day of real rest for you. Rest with no regrets. You know, as women, we take on a lot. Would you agree with me? Raise your hand. We take on a lot. A lot goes on in our lives. They say we wear a lot of different hats. When you take one off, you got to put on another one. You take that one off, you're putting on another one. And by the time you get to bed, the only hat you want to put on is your sleeping cap. Amen. And so we have to learn. We have to learn how to rest with no regret, regrets. I was going to say regrets. No regrets. Amen. We have to rest with no regrets. We are going to begin to move into our foundational scripture for this 10 day journey, Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And our very first topic that we're going to tackle is resting with no regrets. Let me read it to you. read it to you. Jesus said, "Come to me, all you who are, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light." Ladies, there is so much in these three scriptures. There is so much that we can learn, so much that we can gain, so much that we can embrace in these three scriptures that will take us a long way as we learn to and embrace God's plan, purpose, and place for us as women. Amen. Even in the body of Christ. So let's start today to break it down. We're talking about resting with no regrets. How many of you feel guilty when you rest? Raise your hand. <laughs> How many of you feel guilty when you leave housework undone? Raise your hand. How many of you feel guilty when you tell somebody no? Raise your hand. How many of you feel guilty when you are doing something else that you love to do and you've left something that you don't care to do undone? Raise your hand again. Resting with no regrets. He said, come to me, all you who are weary. Listen to this. All you who are feeling or showing tiredness, especially as a result of excessive exertion or lack of sleep. Now, I know I have in my community right now some mamas, some new mamas, who are dealing with new babies and you are not yet on your old sleep schedule. You are on that child's sleep schedule. Amen. And so there are times when we feel overwhelmed and we have overexerted ourselves, especially as a result of excess, excessive exertion or lack of sleep. 
Sometimes we put so much on ourselves that we don't get the rest that we need. Do you know that your body rejuvenates itself during a sleeping process? And that's why statistics show that seven to eight hours is what a, an adult body needs in order to regenerate itself, in order to, uh, to refresh itself, in order to let those, um, those dead cells that are no longer needed to slough off. <laughs> Amen. All of this is happening. There's a rejuvenating, a refreshing that's happening when you rest, when you sleep those eight hours, when you get into that REM sleep where not even a, a, a honking horn can wake you up. Amen. And so he said, come to me, all you who are weary, feeling or showing tiredness, especially as a result of excessive exertion, meaning you have taken on more than what was required of you. You have taken that on. Amen. There's some things, ladies, in these days coming up, we're just going to have to decide to say, I'm not focusing on that. That's not, those are not my monkeys. This is not my circus. Amen. He said, come to me, all you who are wearied and burdened, weighed down, loaded heavily. Listen to this. Carrying more than is meat for you to carry. Carrying more than your fair share. How many of you, sometimes you feel like you are carrying more than your fair share? Raise your hand. <laughs> he said, and I will give you rest. I will give you cease from work or movement in order to relax or refresh oneself. This is what the Lord is promising. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We have turned the corner and we are going into our very foundational, our, our very um, focused scripture, Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. This word rest, it means to cease work or movement there's a reason why we need to rest. There is a reason why the Messiah said, come to me and I will give you rest. And this is what he says. Oh, this is not in the way. This is what he is saying. Um, this word rest means to cease work or movement in order to relax, refresh oneself or recover strength. That's what rest is all about. Now I'm not talking about sleep. I'm talking about rest. It is to cease work or movement, stop work, stop movement. Why? In order to relax, refresh oneself, or recover strength. How many of us need to relax? Put on some instrumental music, whether it's, I, I sometimes I go to the jazz side, but you know, I found some really nice um, instrumental worship music. That is very relaxing. Um, Dappy T. Keys is a great go-to. He plays some beautiful music on that piano to get you in a relaxing mood, to refresh yourself, and to re-strengthen yourself. But we're talking about resting with no regrets. So now what does this word regret mean? It means a feeling of sadness a feeling of repentance, a feeling of disappointment over something that has happened or has been done. That's what regrets means. A feeling of sadness, repentance, or disappointment over something that has happened or has been done. And the Lord is saying to us on day four, rest with no regrets. I want you to rest, to relax to be refreshed, to be re-strengthened with no regrets, without feeling sad, without feeling disappointed, without feeling like you need to repent or say, I'm sorry for resting, for taking a break. I'm sorry. You don't have to say, I'm sorry for taking a break to replenish myself. That's what he's saying to us. I want you to rest with no regrets, no feelings of sadness, repentance, disappointment over something that has happened or has been done. I want you to rest from some things from your past. 
I want you to be refreshed, rejuvenated, and re-strengthened from some things that have wearied you, that have um, caused you to um, exercise um, some strength that you didn't need to exercise and carry weights and loads that you don't need to carry to carry burdens that are not your responsibility. There are some things that are really, although it looks like it's your responsibility and others may make you feel like it is your responsibility, but honestly, ladies, there are some things that are just not our responsibility. There are some things that are just not or should not be our concern. That responsibility lies on somebody else and it is at his feet where the Lord is going to show you clearly. I promise you what things belong to your responsibility and what things do not. And as you spend time on this day four in his presence, let him speak clearly to your heart. Let him clear up some things. Let him clear away some clutter. Let's do some inner spring cleaning. Let him clear away some clutter out of your spirit, out of your soul, out of your mind, your thoughts, your will, and your emotion so that you can be refreshed and rest with no regrets. This is day four. I am Danette Hutchinson. See you tomorrow.